Papa Day sports fans, Leo Paimo, your Guam sports guy here on a 2020 Wednesday. And this is PNC Sports First. After 25 days of no sporting games or events on the island, ESA Sports' latest announcement starts us off today. It comes as no surprise as it was announced on Monday that GDOE ESA Sports for high school and middle school had been canceled. GDOE ESA Sports coordinator is Al Garrido, and he said it was a really tough call. It was inevitable, and it was something that we had to do. We did have some athletic directors uh, who, who had really, it was very tough on them to say yes. They, they had to face the, real, the, the harsh reality, but uh, they knew that it was, the answer was yes, that we would have to cancel sports. Said Garrido, we really feel that sports is something that a lot of our students were looking forward to, especially for our seniors. We understand the weight and the value that it puts on them. A lot of them were waiting pretty much the whole year for this to happen for them. But keep in mind, uh, our, our biggest priority now is making sure that everybody's healthy, uh, that they follow all the guidelines, and probably the most important thing would be just to stay home. I mean, you, you, everyone's talking about washing their hands and keeping your area clean, but realistically, the, the, probably the number one thing would be to stay home. So what happens now to the Notre Dame Royals, four-time girls high school soccer champions, and the FD Friars, two-time defending boys high school volleyball champs? Garrido says that he has been in discussion with sports commissioners and athletic directors about the possibility of holding tournaments for girls high school soccer and boys high school volleyball during the summer, during June or July. It just depends on our COVID-19 situation. We can do a two weekend or even a single weekend tournament to just give the boys and the girls some closure, you know, to, to finish something uh, that they were looking forward to. We, we really don't know those answers now. We're, we're dealing with them as they come. And when asked by PNC Sports about how Garrido felt about ESA's performance since taking over high school interscholastic sports from double I, double AG in the third quarter at the beginning of this year. We didn't have any major stumbles through third quarter. Uh, all the sports went through uh, pretty cleanly. I think we did good. Uh, if we were going to get a report card, I'd, I'd give uh, all our athletic directors, our board of control, our athletes got in. They combined. They, they were really all for it, and uh, I would give them an A+. Plus. And while NCAA's March Madness did not happen last month, sports broadcaster Brandon Gaudin, who does national sports for Fox, and is also self-confined to his apartment, created his own personal March Madness highlights video montage with the March Madness song classic One Shining Moment, where he portrays coaches, announcers, players, team managers, and a cheerleader. It's pretty funny. Do not let yourself look back on this day and say, I could have done more. The ball is tipped, and there you are. You're running for your life. You're a shooting Cinderella's a little smarter this year. Yale's in the Sweet 16. Two seconds. Powell for the win. Yes! Honestly, there was no play. I told Coach I was going to shoot it and make it. And that's your sports on this hump day Wednesday for PNC Sports First. I'm Leo Payimo, your Guam sports guy. Thanks for watching and be sure to stay safe.